Welcome Libra. Okay, so we're going to be getting messages from Spirit for you using postcards from Spirit and Whispers of Healing and also Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, so let's get into it, Libra. Okay, Spirit, what would you like to say to Libra, please? One postcard for Libra. One postcard for Libra, please. <clears throat> Libra. Mm, they're just sieving through the mail to find your postcard, Libra. Libra. Go, Libra. There it is. Okay, here we go. This is your postcard. Okay. <clears throat> Dear you, now is one of those times you're being asked to add some distance. Take a step back and do nothing but observe. Don't worry about how long it will take to regroup. Just know it's temporary and actually an opportunity to take a breath. Slow down and look at how far you've come. Decisions for the highest good are made when you have clarity, which comes from being open to information from both the intellect and the intuition. When you step into the role of the observer, it's as if you turn on a switch that allows your soul to be an essential part of the information gathering and decision making process. In this way, you can approach things from a more neutral and non judgmental place. We know you'll make the right choice. Trust us when we say, now is not the time to get too close to the fray. Step back now. You will be glad you did. Love you. Beautiful. <clears throat> okay, Libra. Let's have a look at what's going on here for you, eh? We'll readdress this at the end because I like to have a look at, you know, what comes out during the reading and then how it, how it all ties in. Um, so yeah, let's have a look. Okay, first card for Libra, please. Tell us more about this message from Spirit here. And this need to take a step back. It's interesting because as I'm shuffling the cards, Libra, things feel really deliberate. Um, <clears throat> And I, I sort of just wonder, either this is your energy or this is the, the sort of energy that you need to embrace. To really be mindful, I suppose, and be selective. Whether that's with your words, your thoughts, especially your thoughts, your actions, there's this need to just take some time to be deliberate. Don't know why there are no cards coming out. <laughs> Come on. There we go. There's one flip out there. I want to keep shuffling. Commit to happiness. I love this. Commit to happiness. Yeah, I, I, I just wonder if for some of you, you're focusing maybe a little bit too much on the negative things that have happened in a sense. And don't get me wrong, Libra, when when things have been really horrible and and hard, um, it's it's difficult to sort of pick yourself up and carry on, you know? So that's not to say that you do that and ignore what's happened. I, I suppose it's a matter of really looking at the destination that you want to arrive at and um and i suppose when when they talk about regrouping it's it's sort of like there's this sense of 
just wanting to get on with it in a sense. I don't know why I'm saying in a sense a lot. I said that for one of the other signs too, and I was led to innocence. Um, yeah, I just kind of like uh, yeah, something's I don't know, something's off. Something's off. Libra, we've got the miser here. And we also have understanding. There's something definitely that you feel the need to protect. And it's sort of like you're building this wall around yourself to protect your treasure. Okay. Um, and, and that treasure being representative of whatever it may be. Okay, um, I, f I feel as though even though you feel the need to do this, it's, it's probably not allowing you to actually go towards happiness. Okay, because it's holding you in. It's holding you in the wall, okay, that you're building to protect whatever it is that you're wanting to protect here, Libra. Okay, and I feel as though it's the case that for some of you, you may have done this for so long. Um, and, and whether this is to protect your um your innocence, maybe. Well, you know, that coming out, it, it's the innocence of something, or maybe someone. And maybe your innocence, you know. Um, yeah, and, and with this card here, it's sort of like you have become so accustomed to doing this for yourself that even though you know the bars are down and you could potentially fly, you actually choose not to. Um, it's kind of like almost as though whatever it is that has happened, you've done this for so long that um, you've kind of decided, well, I'm happy with this. If, if it means protecting my treasure and it means that I don't get to fly, then I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, and... But it's sort of like what you are forfeiting in the meantime is your happiness. And I sort of feel like the um, the reason for doing that underneath it all is actually fear. Um, for some of you, it's anger. For some of you, it's like, no, I've done everything I could do and, and I'm not doing this. Um, I'm not going to give any more than what I have already given. And and don't get me wrong, that's fear, okay? Um, but there's this, um, what did it say here? Being open to information from both the intellect and the intuition, actually combining the two because it's it's sort of like there's been this cutoff from the both of them. And um, yeah, it's really, I don't know, there's something here, Libra, that's not quite coming out, but it will, it will. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a disconnect of some sort here. Let's have a look. Next card for Libra, please. Definitely this sense of holding back here. Um, unexpected. Okay. Unexpected. See, this is this happiness here. It's sort of like walking down the same old road. Um, and you, <clears throat> things have been created by you so that you know what to expect and you know what's going on. Um, but something's come along that's taken you a little bit by a surprise. 
um, and there's this opportunity to move towards happiness. Um, and, and don't get me wrong, Libra, it's not to say that you don't want to be happy or, you know, you don't want happiness. But it's sort of like, it's sort of like you did that once and things went bad. And so it's better now just to stay in the cage. Like you tried to fly once and you did. And, um, you know, it's sort of like there was this crash and burn type of thing. And um, you're like, oh, yeah, nah. <laughs> um, mm, interesting, Libra. Interesting. Okay. So, and this, this may be where it's important for you to take a step back so that you can really assess the situation, right? Because, um, yeah, you're afraid of... <sighs> This could be somebody that you've met, Libra. You you might be, a, or, or it could be somebody in your life where there's this this thing of them putting on this mask and pretending everything's okay, and behind it there's this um, sort of deception going on. Okay, um, I kind of feel like this energy here is you going. I've learned my lesson. I'm not going to do that again. I feel though, Libra, it's really important not for you to put everything into this one category. That just because that happened that time with that person, it doesn't mean it's going to happen every time with every person. And it may have happened two or three times for you, but not everybody is the same. And as you learn and as you go along the path and you grow, um, you you become wiser and you you are able to make um more informed decisions based on your experiences and i just wonder libra if you're not really giving yourself enough credit to know that now you can safely fly and you will see the danger a lot clearer now than what you did prior yeah and we have transformation here as well. Yes, see, this is you with all the tools that you need in order to go forth in your life. Um, and, and with this sort of saying to you, take a step back, right? Um, and I feel like this is where this, this comes in, right? It's, it's sort of like, okay, yep, there's this path that you can go down. But you can stand and observe for a while. You don't have to rush into anything straight away over anything. You can pause. Even when, Libra, someone asks you a question, you don't have to answer immediately. There's no rule written anywhere that says you have to answer immediately. If your phone rings, you don't have to answer immediately. You know, you can sit back and really go, you know, it, it could be a matter of you simply saying, I'll get back to you on that. You know, and actually sit with it and see how you feel. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because I feel as though, see, kindness has jumped out here. And I feel as though that's going to allow you to really tap into these, the intuition and into, you know, the head to kind of come to a mutual place of deliverance in whatever response that you have, okay, or whatever direction you want to go in, or whatever decision you want to make, okay, because, yeah, I just wonder if for some of you, you feel like you, you're you pressured, in a sense, I don't know if that's the right word, pressured, but there's some, some feeling of urgency in a sense, and um, it's easier, I think you find it easier just to close off and go, nah. Um, instead of just sitting in that mutual place and, and kind of like just feeling it out. That might not be the right way to explain it, but that's what I'm getting right now. Um, 
I feel like there's been things that you've been growing and from that, um, and, and this could even be internally Libra, and from that there is certain gifts that you're able to give to people, okay? And it's sort of like you, you are, you've been able to hold space for a lot of people, okay? Um, uh, because of the work that you have done. I do want to say with this Libra is that you need to remember to make sure that you replenish, okay, and ensure that you are making sure that you are receiving what it is that you need in order to keep growing, okay, because, yeah, we can't keep giving and not receive because there then becomes this imbalance, okay. So let me just pick this card up that's fallen on the floor here. And this is aloneness. Aloneness. Yeah, I really, it's interesting. I feel like some of you have been feeling this sense of aloneness as though, you know, I kind of feel like in a sense you, I don't know why I keep saying in a sense, it's jumping out of me now. <laughs> it's actually bugging me. Anyhow. Libra, um, even, even if, say, you're with people, um, I just wonder if some of you feel like you are still leading the way on your own, um, and I do want to say that for that part of the journey, it's been necessary for you to do that, um, because Sorry, Libra, I'm getting just like, I keep kind of getting stopped in my tracks and I wonder if that's what's happening for you. It's like you go along um, and you get stopped in your tracks and then you go along again, maybe even in another direction, you get stopped in your tracks and it's like this, this always this halting along your path and... Um, Yeah, and I wonder if that has, has made you feel like the growth that you could have um, actually, uh, the growth that could have transpired within you keeps getting thwarted. And I just wonder if there's someone in your life who doesn't want to see that happen. Um, or it may not even be that. It may just be that circumstances in life prevent you from, you know, continuing on this kind of like um, smooth path. But then, Libra, the fact of the matter is that the bumps and the nicks in the road, those are what help us to grow. Um, yeah, and, and I feel as though this is what being in the darkness has required you to shine your light stronger so that you can shine the way for you, okay, um, and I know it sucks and I know it's a hard road to travel, um, I do feel like this will be coming to an end though, that it's going to get a lot easier and look at this, look at this, this is what happens, right? the master. This is what happens when we travel this this road on our own and, and we are required to shine our internal light. Our master, our internal master has this um, permission and the ability to, to come out in full form. And I feel as though this is what is happening for you. With this kindness card here, I'm just getting that, Libra, this is you needing to be kind to yourself. This is you needing to give to yourself because um, I feel like there's all this giving and there needs to be more receiving. 
okay because yeah i i the, the and this is the thing right the master knows the master knows this the master knows that um he needs to receive and also give as well so he knows that perfect balance because he's tuned in to himself and he um he can feel when it's a bit lopsided okay so i think it's really important for you to work out what feels good for you to receive okay and then get more of that okay so i feel like i've spent so much time already on these and we have so far in already but that's okay it's been yeah it's been i have to say libra it's been hard um it, that's what i'm feeling like it's been tricky to get the information and i feel like your journey in this time has been really tricky and, and difficult to manage at times a lot of the time actually oh, there we go okay let's get this one here right there okay triggers yep 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 i don't know what this other card is yet because it's upside down so let's just deal with this one here there's been yes lots of things that have happened along the way and it's sort of like you just get back going again and then bam the next thing happens and then you come back again and then bam the next thing happens and I feel like Libra, Libra you're a little bit exhausted from all this and it's yeah see look at the bottom of the deck here it's like this fighting and I feel like this is this internal fighting um, and you feel like you have to put your armor on this could also be um, you know directed at you and um, you feel like there's this protection needed but it's it's kind of like there's just been so many things that have happened and even when things are smooth then it's a matter of having to deal with those things that have happened right um, it's almost like sometimes you never quite get a break and um, and just when you think everything's sweet and you're on track it's like bam you get hit with something else and it's it is it's yeah it's, it's absolutely exhausting celebration um i feel like this is necessary for you to call on the people that you know you can trust and that you lo who love you who love you genuinely go out and celebrate with them call up your friends and you know even if it's like go out and dance in the puddles you know just actually let out this inner child this playful side of your inner child who has been forgotten and i just wonder if this is what this this protecting this innocence is about protecting this inner child and you may have done that a long 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 time ago um and now it's time to sort of come out and be goofy <laughs> i feel um yeah and the other thing is to this is the thing now this is what i love about this and i feel like this is exactly what this is saying and i don't know where it says it but i just feel like this is a reflection of it these contrasting things not really contrasting but anyhow you've got this celebration card here and then you've got the no thingness okay and this libra you can do this in meditation so it's sort of like going into the nothingness right in meditation find something on youtube there's plenty out there for you okay um and yet going out and having some fun so this is this balance that i was talking about before before the balance that the master knows how to do okay so i really do feel like this is very important for you right now to um be focusing on whatever else is going on outside of you let that that's not going anywhere okay but let yourself do the things that you need to do to bring your your some balance into your life okay and maybe this is what um you taking a step back this will help you to observe maybe a lot better because when you take care of yourself you know when you're able to go out and jump in the puddles when you're able to clear everything out of your mind and go into the nothingness you're able to come back clearer
because you've released this pent up energy that you're trying so dearly to hold on to, to put lid onto so it doesn't blow. But the fact of the matter is, Libra, one day it's going to become too much. So it's time to start now. Okay, this is why spirit is here with this message for you to say, we're here and this is what we would like you to do because this is what they see you need. Okay, and we've got well-being. Yeah, exactly. This is exactly what I'm saying. Take care of your well-being. Again, always trying to take care of everybody else's well-being and it's sort of, um, I feel like, for some of you, your vibration is becoming a little bit mangled in a sense. So it's just sort of time to unwind that. And through this, you know, getting together with friends and having a good time, um, however that may be for you. And um, this meditating, right, that is going to help that vibration. Yeah. And that's going to help with a new, new conscious way of living this you know, it's going to bring that forth. That's going to be the beginning of this conscious creating for you. Okay, this purposeful living. And um, and, and that's going to give you a breakthrough in your life that you need to smash through these walls. Okay, um, because you, 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 you sort of grow to the master where you don't need to build the walls anymore to protect yourself because the master doesn't need that because the master has got it down packed and that's what you have the ability to do right you this is you libra you are the master of your own existence and so yeah i feel like this is going to be the breakthrough that you need right now okay so next card for libra please Oh, that's like about four cards. We just want one, please. For Libra. Thank you. What's this one? Seek seclusion. Okay. So if you need to actually have some time on your own, I feel like for some of you a retreat would be really good. Um, then you need to do that. Rejuvenate. Yeah. Actually, um, Give yourself this aloneness time, okay? And that so that that master can come through. This is just too much going on. Um, yeah, and and I think it's hard for you to hear. It's hard for you to to um, tap into the best um, the best um, course of action, and for you to it, it it really is like this thing of like, oh my gosh, I just need quiet at the moment to just let me kind of get things in order okay and yeah yeah and I kind of wonder with this energy here if this is what you feel like your mind is a bit like it's like oh you think one thing but then you, you it's sort of like you don't even trust what's going on in here um so you know I think that it's almost like I just feel like I want to go, oh, it, just surrender. It, you know, it, it could be a matter that you just need to surrender, Libra. And, um, and yeah, surrender and allow. Okay, we've got the outsider here and we've got schizophrenia. Okay, so for some of you, you're looking at what's happened in the past. You're looking at things that are done and dusted and it's always there it's always there every time I feel like you need to turn and walk away from that okay because there's so much more for you it's like you know focusing on that door that's been closed well this has been padlocked right this is absolutely done and dusted and it may not be Libra that you want to go back through that gate but it's kind of like uh there's this sort of um feeling of I wanted to say sense there and I'm trying to find another word um but there's this feeling of but I need to look at it so that I can sort it out because this is what all this mumble jumble is um but that's not helping 
And so if that hasn't helped trying to do that, then turn around and do something differently, okay? Um, and with the schizophrenia here, there's this... Um, I, I, I feel like for some of you, there's... Things aren't clear. There's kind of hanging in the balance. And I, I feel as though you... I just wonder if some of you feel like if there's a decision to be made that you can't make the, a decision because of someone else and I actually feel like you need to just take the power and go, do you know what, this is what I'm doing because um, there could be someone around you who is actually sort of just just playing games and, um, and so I feel as though in order for you to not feel so vulnerable and not feel like you don't have the power, to stand in your power and take control of your life, okay, because whatever decision needs to be made affects you, and if someone's dicking you around, you just kind of need to do it, I feel, okay, so yeah, Libra, this is, this was interesting actually, um, and I, I really feel for you because I feel like the energy is very intense, and um, but these, I, I think this is a matter of you understanding who you truly are here. Step into this power of who you are. And this is the master. Okay, be conscious of the master within you here, Libra. Okay, and that's going to help you immensely, immensely. Okay, so let's have a read of this again, Libra. Dear you, now is one of those times you're being asked to add some distance. Take a step back and do nothing but observe. Don't worry about how long it will take to regroup. Just know it's temporary and actually an opportunity to take a breath. Slow down and look at how far you've come. Decisions for the highest good are made when you have clarity, which comes from being open to information from both the intellect and the intuition. Yeah, see, and I feel like this consciousness and this master here, this is definitely part of that. Anyway, a little, little, little where am I? Okay, when you step into the role of the observ of observer, it's as if you turn on a switch that allows your soul to be an essential part of the information gathering and decision making process. In this way, you can approach things from a more neutral and non-judgmental place. We know you'll make the right choice. Trust us when we say now is not the time to get too close to the fray. Step back now. You will be glad you did. Love you. Yeah, so this is you hanging in the balance. This is this urgency. I have to make a decision. You don't. Okay, so just take your time. Okay, step back, step back onto, onto this platform here, right? And I think you'll feel less vulnerable. Okay, and um, yeah, Libra, good luck with that. And look, if you need to, come back and listen to this because this might help you over the next couple of weeks, okay? Just to remind you and refresh refresh you as to what direction you need to go in and where you, where you need to be right now, okay? Because now is all that matters. Okay, Libra, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.